All right, everyone, we start off today talking about the coming sentencing of Donald Trump. It is now July, and in just 10 days, on July 11th, Merchan will hand down sentencing of evil orange man who he you know, spent so long persecuting. It'll be really funny. Link in the description archived, of course, also describing sort of uh, what Merchan can and cannot do with regards to Trump. And uh, I, I have my prediction uh, at hand, so don't worry. Uh, he can sentence him to probation effectively, suspend the sentence. He can effectively defer and say, well, you know, you're guilty, but I'm not punishing you. Or sentence him to house arrest at the Mar-a-Lago with an, an ankle monitor, quite literally. Uh, none of these, by the way, are good ideas to actually... I mean, the case never should have existed in the first place. It's an artificially upgraded felony case that shouldn't exist. It was clearly persecutorial. Alvin Bragg effectively alluded to the fact that it was politically motivated on multiple occasions before the case began, and Donald Trump is not guilty of these crimes. The problem is that any punishment you give him pisses somebody off, now doesn't it? Let's say that they throw Donald Trump in literal prison, for example, so they give him you know, like the maximum possible sentence. They, uh, they send him off to a federal, a low security prison. Uh, you have several problems there. The first problem is that the Secret Service is probably not going to allow you to do that. Physically speaking, they simply won't allow him to be transferred to a prison. Uh, how are they supposed to coordinate? How are they supposed to do their job? And constitutionally speaking, Donald Trump is due Secret Service protection 24-7. So, I mean, you can't really incarcerate other people, which you would technically have to do, force him to spend eight-hour shifts in the fucking prison with all of the uh, legalese that goes on in them. Uh, even in a low-security facility, that would be difficult to coordinate. Um, secondly, you would probably have to clear out at least a section of the prison just for Donald Trump because of that security detail. That is, that he'd have his own suite in the prison. Uh, he, he, I mean, you can't literally put him in a cell. And if you did, it would look like naked persecution. It'd be his elbow moment. If you put him on Rikers, by the way, uh, I predict that he's won re-election on that day. Now, let's say they suspend the sentence. Well, that pisses off the liberals because they want him to go to actual prison. They, want, they, they don't want him to pay a fine. They don't want a suspended sentence where like, hey, you know, just don't re-offend and there will be no problems. And then again, you have those other cases where he could be found guilty and then technically speaking, then you have a conflict between, uh, you know, uh, several jurisdictions as to where he even goes to prison at that point. If you put him in the Mar-a-Lago with an ankle monitor, uh, then you're probably handing him his re-election bid too, because uh, it's going to be a hilarious moment. He'll still be able to make his rumble videos and everything like that. You're probably interfering with the presidential debate in September, etc., 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 my suspicion is that they'll suspend the sentence, that uh, Merchan will effectively defer and use the excuse of, well, you are a presidential candidate, you're clearly going to be the nominee of a major party, and so I'm not really going to punish you. Just please don't do anything else. Um, and the other cases being on indefinite hold, Fulton um, and, uh, and uh, the uh, Jack Smith case are on indefinite hold effectively right now. They're on appeal, uh, and the other cases are civil, so, so that doesn't really matter. Um, my suspicion is that Merchan will stand down because he doesn't really have a choice but to stand down. This will enrage the left wing of American politics. They're going to be enraged at Merchan. And they're also going to trot out the claim, this is another prediction, they're going to trot out the claim, well, Trump is uh, above the law effectively, See, he's part, of the, he's part of the establishment. He's a rich dude, and so they're not punishing him. No, it'll be more like if they punish him, they're literally interfering with the presidential election uh, at this point. We know who the nominees will be. It is self-evident. Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee. They're going to, therefore, I think, back up. Uh, they're going to cede ground yet again. They've done this multiple times already. Trump is, is gobsmacking them. What they'll do is they'll say, they'll try to use ballot printers, but, I mean, they're going to need an order of magnitude more of them in this election than they did in 2020. Uh, based on polling, 
based on the debate. We'll be talking a little bit more about that. Against my will, by the way, I don't really want to talk about the debate at this point because it's just beating a dead horse, but Pelosi's response was too juicy. I've got to talk about that later uh, in a video and, and, and on the live stream, by the way. But uh, the, what they'll do is they'll give ground and they'll, um, there are two hopes that they have. Number one is that they hope that Donald Trump loses, in which case they can just persecute him into the ground, and that's it. I don't think that they expect that to happen, though, by the way. And number two, if that fails, if he does win re-election, they'll simply obstruct him. They already did this in the wake of the 2016 election. His own party was obstructing him on multiple occasions. Obstruction on the border on foreign policy, etc., etc., etc. His Syrian envoy wouldn't tell him the proper troop totals. Uh, the House Republicans didn't want to allocate money to funding the wall. He finally won a federal court case with regards to that for uh, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, defense spending uh, because you've got uh, omnibus spending that the House allocates for uh, national security and, and he drained some of that in order to build several hundred miles of wall. I suspect that that's going to be their operative strategy. They're simply going to obstruct him. By the way, another uh, little detail that I should probably mention. If he wins the popular vote, it's going to be real low-key obstruction because he'll have the mandate that he needs in order to do things. He'll say, look, the American people clearly and blatantly elected me, not just in a partisan manner, but the majority of people that voted voted for me fucking do what I say, basically. Uh, he'll stand them down. It'll be more low-key obstruction. If he does not win the popular vote, uh, assuming that he's re-elected, and, and there's a pretty good chance of that at this point, assuming that that happens, it'll be more on the nose. What they'll do is they'll push for their national vote compact, you know, the national popular vote bullshit, um, and try to destroy the Electoral College. They'll use, the, you know, they'll use it as an opportunity to do that say, well, orange man bad, you know, quite clearly the American people wanted Joe Biden, but this minority of people in a minority of states, they wanted the felon, and so we have to change the system. And they'll rip the system apart. The irony is that if Donald Trump uh, fails in that endeavor, in, in the uh, national popular vote, uh, they'll be the ones that are actually ripping apart democracy in the literal sense. Um, because that's not exactly how a democratic republic is supposed to work. It'll be very ironic and very funny. I'll take you back to 1900, The Last President, you know, by Ingersoll Lockwood, you know, the one where Pence was the Secretary of State instead of the uh, Vice President, and then he wrote separate books on Baron Trump, quite literally. Uh, interesting fellow. He seems to have been an occultist. I think that he had uh, prescience. He uh, understood what would happen literally a hundred years later. Very, very interesting. But yeah, link in the description. Uh, Trump will be sentenced. I suspect that they will suspend the sentence or that they will effectively defer. And so I don't think that he's going to a jail cell. If he does, he's won re-election. That's going to be a shit show. No matter what decision, though, is made on the sentencing date in 10 days, there will be chaos. Somebody will be pissed off Either people saying that it's persecution or people saying that it's the opposite and that Donald Trump isn't getting his proper comeuppance for all the felonies that he committed. And so it'll be a very, very interesting day. Can't, um, can't wait to live stream it. That's about all. Peace out.